talk about DVTs, why they're associated with flying, and what you need to know about them for nursing school. DVT stands for deep vein thrombosis. And like many terms in nursing school, if you take the time to understand what the abbreviation stands for, it tells you a whole lot of information about what it is. Let's break it down. First off, let's break down the word thrombus. Thromb is the root word that means blood clot. Osis is a root word that means condition or state. So a thrombosis means we have a blood clot present. Then deep vein simply tells us where this blood clot occurs. The iliac and femoral veins are the two most common deep veins where this can happen, but there are other places in the body where it can occur. Now, even if you don't know your circulatory system well enough to know exactly where the iliac and femoral veins are, you should be able to remember some of your skeletal information to get a general idea, because if nothing else, you probably know where the femur is. And guess what? The vein, the femoral vein is going to be near the femur. And already noticed, I am walking you through step one of the silver bullet study system for how to study DVT right now. Helping you identify the most important foundational normal information that you have to understand before you can even begin to understand the rest of the things you need to know for nursing school about DVTs. Check out the link in my profile if you want to watch a full overview of how to study with the silver bullet study system for yourself. It's free. That's the bulk of what you need to understand from step one. So let's move on to step two, which is what's breaking with DVT it's kind of easy to identify because again the name tells us what the pathology is it's a blood clot in the deep veins Sometimes it's helpful to have kind of a 2b step where we talk about why this could happen or what could cause this to occur main things here that could cause it venous stasis which in everyday language just means the blood's not moving very fast it's kind of like a stagnant pond the blood's not moving very much it gives the platelets more time to coagulate so that you're more likely to form a clot Number two is damage to the endothelium lining. Now, this might tell us that we actually have something else we should have added to our step one uh, information, which is what is the A and P of blood vessels? Because we need to understand what endothelium lining is. But basically, there's these little microscopic cuts and tears in the endothelial lining, which is the inner lining of the vein. Then it's more little places that clots could grab onto, kind of like Velcro. And then they get stuck there and they're more likely to grow because now we also have stasis because it's just sitting there. The third reason is hypercoagulability of the blood. This could be caused by any number of reasons, but what it boils down to is that the client's blood is just more likely to clot than most people's is. These are brains starting to turn with the possibilities of how these three things could contribute to why DVTs are more likely to happen on planes. Hmm? I'm in this video, but follow for part two explain how to think like a nurse about DVTs through using step three and four of the silver bullet study system.